We're delighted to receive the Queen's Award for Enterprise. It's a tribute to our staff. We've got a brilliant team. I also think it reflects well on the whole British assistive technology industry, which has done a huge amount over the years. Inclusive started as an education division of a games company, Ocean Software. But uh, my fellow teachers and I bought it out in 1998 and there was a severe shortage of some of the resources that kids with special needs need, uh, switch accessible software. So we set up Inclusive and started to produce that. And very soon we were the major producer in the world of switch accessible software. These days there are three parts to Inclusive Technology. There's Inclusive Technology itself, which is really a huge collection, about 2,000 different resources, technological fixes which helps children join in. Then we've got Help Kids Learn. This is the online thing which is worldwide, 25,000 subscribers in 148 countries. But there's a third aspect which is Special World. Now this is a free online magazine where we're trying to get together the community of special schools, special education settings from right around the world so we can learn from them and let them know of the latest technological developments. Schools are our major customers and for many years it was mainly British schools and we were finding the best technology from around the world and British special schools, particularly special schools who take probably less than 2% of the school population, were our major customers, more than half of our business. I'm Fran Clayton, the Deputy Head Teacher at Pendleview Primary School. Pendleview Primary School is a community special school for children with a wide range of special educational needs and disabilities. Technology is very important to our children and it enables the children to communicate and to access their learning. The technological advances that have been promoted by inclusive technology have enabled children to communicate in a way that we never thought they would be able to. The use of eye gaze has enabled children to have a voice and to be able to speak to us within the classroom and to their friends. The use of switches and adaptive technology has enabled them to access learning, play games and to help us understand what they can understand as well. The really exciting thing at the moment is that our resources are delivered online, which means now it's two-way communication. We can actually see what the users are doing with our software, and by seeing that, we're able to help them more. We can compare them with what people do generally, and we can improve our resources, and we can also provide insights and reports for uh, the teachers and therapists who are working with those children. It's a, a, a wonderful time in uh, the assisted technology business. We're very fortunate as well that we get, we have amazing stories of children who have never communicated before and suddenly eye gaze or something like that just lights a fire in them and they're away communicating. It's, it's great to be in a business where you feel you're making a difference. We're turning a corner now with new technologies, with online resources, with eye gaze technology, face recognition. Uh, the future's going to be really great. We're going to be able to help children with special needs even more than we have over the last 30 years. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>